So, you want to buy a home here in Houston, Texas, but you're asking yourself if now is the right time to buy. Well, listen, I'm Shadria Patton, and I'm going to give you the latest housing market numbers as of February the 22nd, 2023 for single family homes here in Houston, Texas. So let's talk about what's happening in this Houston real estate market. There are five stats that I recommend you track if you're looking to buy in Houston. Those are the market action index, the median list price, average and median days on the market, inventory, and price decreases. The first three were the same as last week, so I'm not going to repeat all of the details behind it. You can watch last week's video to get the analytics and the charts behind the number. The last two stats are minor but favorable changes from last week. The first statistic is the market action index. This is the supply and demand because it compares current rate of sales versus inventory. As of February the 2nd, the market action index is still at 36, which is unchanged from the last seven weeks. With this number, sellers still have an uphand. The second key statistic is the median list price. The median list price for Houston as of February the 22nd is $370,000. It's been this amount for the past three weeks. The median list price indicates what home values are currently. The third statistic that you want to consider is the average and the median days in the market. This tells you how long it takes a home to sell. As of February the 22nd, the property is currently available, has been on the market for an average of 98 days. The median days on the market is still recorded at 70. Okay, so those were the first three housing statistics that you will need to be familiar with if you want to buy a home here in the Houston area. You can navigate to this link on the screen or the link in the video description to subscribe to these stats for your specific zip code. Now what has changed a bit are these last two statistics, inventory and properties with a price decrease. So now the fourth one is inventory. As of February the 22nd, it is 4,809 homes on the market here in Houston. It was 4,760 on February the 15th. Again, we still are at low, I guess, inventory levels compared to those pre-pandemic levels. Now, in times like this, more inventory is always good because it brings buyers to the market because they feel they have options. Now, the fifth statistic that you need to be aware of is properties with a price decrease. As of February the 22nd, that figure is at 36% in Houston. It was 38% last week. I absolutely love that this has been consistently decreasing over the past few months. Now, this means that sellers are pricing their homes better and better meshing with the buyer demand. Okay, so because I'm selling Houston, here's your tip of the week. Understand what current homeowners are facing so that you know how to best position yourself in this market. The biggest challenge the housing market is facing is how few homes there are for sale. Even though Houston increased its inventory, that 4,908 is still low compared to pre-pandemic levels. And the main reason for the low supply is rate locked existing homeowners and the fear of not finding something to buy. Now, according to the Federal Housing Finance Agency, the average interest rates for current homeowners with mortgages is less than 4%. However, the typical mortgage rate offered to buyers is 7% for a 30-year mortgage. Because of this, many homeowners are opting to stay put instead of moving to another home with higher borrowing costs. This is why I say like rate lock. Like honestly, they want to keep their 4% and under rates. Like they're afraid, right? Now, so with so many homeowners rate locked and uh, these, these homeowners are like honestly just reluctant to sell, it's hard for buyers right now since a housing market needs inventory. However, experts do project that mortgage rates will gradually fall this year and that could be, that could mean like more people willing to move as that happens. Now don't sit and wait for interest rates to go 3% or even 4%. I haven't heard any experts anticipate that. However, I have heard experts say that we could go to the low 6% or even 
And actually, we did get under 7% for like a couple of weeks. But then um, we saw recently, we saw it recently rise like to over the 7%, honestly. But anyways, the other big challenge contributing to low inventory from sellers is the fear of not finding another home to buy if they move. Worrying about where they'll go has many sellers sitting on the sidelines as they wait for like more homes to come to the market. Now that's why if you're on the fence about selling, it's important to consider all of your options such as new construction. Like these builders are truly working with you by providing awesome incentives at this point. Now listen, download my free buyer guide or the free seller guide via the description below. You know your situation, so if, you, if you're just a buyer, random buyer, hey, get that. Otherwise, if you are scared about selling, get that. Anyways, again, I'm Shadria with JPAR Real Estate. Please subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified about new videos on moving and shaking around Houston.